Shapeless Constellation is truly a bizarre card. When we summon it, it transforms into an 8-8 copy of a minion from our hand, but it costs 8 mana. So even if we're cheating out 10 drops, it comes out pretty late, and there aren't really 10 drops that are super worth cheating. But maybe we're not supposed to cheat out big minions, but rather summon buffed versions of small minions, like Freebird. A 4 mana 2-2 two -two charger, if we hit it with the constellation, it's going to be an 8 mana 8-8 eight eight charger, or a King Crush for 1 less mana. Unfortunately, this does not count as playing a free bird, so it won't buff the other free birds. But we have ways to copy free birds so they can buff each other. We've got the new Creation Protocol, which can give us 2 extra copies, and the classic Power Word Synchronize, which can give us 1 extra copy. And then, of course, Constellation also has other good targets like Amonthul and Blackwater Behemoth, so we can play some typical Priest gameplay sometimes. Aranda. Aranda. The old Freebird Priest Mirror. Maybe I'm supposed to keep Fan Club since I play Dispossessed Soul, but... I don't know, it's just not useful on its own in this matchup. I guess I'll play this. But I probably am just going Cathedral into Dispossessed Soul on 3 and 4. I don't think I need silence against the stack, but maybe I'm wrong. What just happened? They healed the wrong target. I do love a creation protocol. So I could coin this for 6 AoE, but then it would kill my minion, and I don't want that. My favorite part of this minion is how alive it is. Bird. Boom. I have nine cards in hand, so I probably don't want to use Cathedral. Alright, I can start playing birds. Might just coin double bird next turn. Oh, cool. My opponent Psychic conjured my Amonthul. That's really fun. That's really, really fun. I guess I'm silencing it. Give me an almond duel.
my opponent's random card generation has been on point. Actually an insane clean the scene. Oh no. I have both constellations. They can copy each other. But if they don't copy each other, that's a lot of bird damage. We prefer the bird, but Amonthul would be acceptable. Uh... Probably just go face for eight. Could have overdrawn a card to push two more damage. But it should be quite easy to get this two damage at some point. Alright, they're trying to prison me. Insane prison so far. Oh, the fires of Zinajari, though. How interesting. Um, I do have Dissonant Pop for six damage here. But I guess they're probably trading both of these 5-4s, so maybe that's not too exciting. Well, that's a bummer. Well, that does mean I can play Whirlpool here. And I guess I will. Maybe Dissonant Pop, they have a 4-2... Maybe it's a Dissonant Pop Holy Nova. My opponent is playing such an interesting pile of cards, I'm not sure what board clears are best going forward. I guess maybe it is always nice to be able to play Dissonant Pop plus a free bird in the same turn. Oh. Well, that's a scary card for the opponent to have. Looks like I'm going to have to play Harmonic Holy Nova here. No, not another bird. Now I can't Creation Protocol it. That's a bummer. Once again, I need Constellation to not hit the other Constellation. Oh, well, that solves that problem. Well, that was a great time. Oh, cool. Now my creation protocol doesn't do anything. Uh, am I just fucking dead? I guess I can make a taunt minion. Oh, if only Masked Reveler did anything, that would be a great card. Uh, Countess is online. Can't imagine I'll actually be able to play her, but she's online. Oh, this Holy Nova is amazing. They had a secret. What the heck? I didn't even realize. I probably don't need to fan club here. I forgot they had that. I'll be honest. I'm 
I'm gonna light it burns this 4 4. Defense Attorney Nathanos. Doesn't seem like it really does much. Light it burns for the 6-5, it looks like. Oh boy, a symphony. Oh, and my opponent drew six cards. I guess they kind of only drew three, though, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Seems unlikely that they can deal six from hand, but you never know. Yes, another patchwork. Kind of a mediocre patchwork here, to be honest. Which really says a lot about how broken that card is. Alright, so... I could play this. I just have to go for invitations and hope they're good. Okay, these cards all do nothing. Krabatoa is at least a good card. Patchwork him right back. The Jailer? Well, that's a good one to hit. Oh, that's not good. They got a crab and a Cecily. I guess I actually have to heal out of range of symphonies. I have silence double bird. The birds are seven damage. Let's go! Let's go! We beat Fires of Zinajari. Am I supposed to keep a bird? Probably not, right? Because I can hit two birds with Creation Protocol. Why is my opponent playing Mech Mage? Is anyone else cringing or is it just me? You need to die, I'm afraid. Do I want more birds? 
Well, definitely more than this other stuff. Bird. And my shit's gone already. Maybe I should have just played clean the scene, and then I could have gone Whirlpool into Blackwater Behemoth. I guess I clean here. Behemoth. And the next turn I have a 3-3 three, three, and a 4-4. Four, four. I have Whirlpool even if this is a disaster. Well, my guy is frozen and they killed my lure. I don't really want to whirlpool my own guy, though. Let's just cannibalize you and send a bird in. There we go. I'm at 27 and I've got a 10 health lifesteal minion. Probably have to whirlpool this, even though it's kind of... Okay. Gave me a little something extra to whirlpool. What if I 8-8 eight, eight charge into this? Probably a whirlpool. And I might need the silence for a magnetic mech. Throw another magnetic on that. I don't mind. Oh, what if you gave it stealth and wind fury with spark bots? That'd be so scary for me. Okay, that works too. Oh, that's such a bad draw. I'm taking the two out of three for this. I hate my life. I play, uh, play four locations, by the way. I'm just having a great time this game. Oh, how am I supposed to deal with this minion?
Well, they've got a six damage AoE. And this is how we can win. Is this better than Dissonant Pop here? I think Dissonant Pop's better this turn. Boom. Could have banished... Uh, well, I guess I could have banished Annoyatron in the big thing and then traded this into the 4-4. Four -four. But Amonthul, I think, is just a better card to have in hand. Wow, that is not fun. Seafloor Gateway. I don't play any max, but it's nice that my opponent only drew four cards off their five mana five five. Be gone. I probably have shadow spells in my deck, don't I? Cannibalize, I think, is a shadow spell. I think it might just be Cannibalize. I probably just want a Decimator Olgra. Can play Olgra alongside Free Bird, and maybe that pushes lethal. The next bird does deal five damage. Do I have lethal? This is four. This is five. This could summon a, basically another nine. So if Olgra goes face, I have lethal. She's going to have nine health. Eh, probably good enough to clear some stuff even if she's not lethal. Wait a second, am I dumb? Oh, only the new one gets the plus two, plus two, not the original. So I've only got 16 damage here. That's fine. Still dealt with the board without having to whirlpool my Almondthul. Oh, we hate to see Prison of Yogg-Sir on. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's going to be hard to have lethal through that. I have 11 damage. Play my rightmost card, I can draw a card. I don't know, it's kind of a bad silence, which is a potentially good card in this matchup, but my hand, my opponent's hand is so empty that there's probably not going to be big magnetic stuff I need to, uh, need to deal with. Give me another bird, heck yeah. Creation protocol. Um, let's see what we can get with this. We got a 4-8 taunt. Lovely. I guess I'm just playing hard for board here. I had to at least kill the mech so it doesn't get magnetized. 
Maybe I shouldn't be playing this hard for the board because they do have Prison of Yogg, but all right, looks like we finally got there. A surprisingly fun game against Mech Mage. Might be the first fun game against Mech Mage ever. 